Hello everyone. In agriculture today, we are going to be learning about animal management practices. Animal management practices are the things which we do when we are taking care of animals on the farm. We have got a virus management practices which should be done for our animals to be strong and healthy and also to increase production. We are going to look at housing first as the first management practice. As you can see, this kind of housing is known as a, a bush crawl. We also have this type of crawl made of poles. These are untreated poles. We provide housing for our animals specifically to protect them from predators and thieves and also to protect them from harsh weather conditions. Now, usually people confuse a crawl and a crash. I want us to look at the crash, the cattle crash. This must seem to be like housing, but it's actually a handling cage. A cattle crash is used when you are carrying out activities such as vaccinating of animals, branding animals, dehorning or disbanding. So I want you to take note of the difference that a cattle crash is not a, a, for housing animals, but it is actually a handling cage, which helps you to carry certain activities. Let's look at the chicken house. When you are keeping chickens, you also need to provide a poultry house. If you look at the chicken house, it has a wire mesh there. We also have a ridge for ventilation. The wire mesh is very important as it provides light inside the poultry house and it also allows for good ventilation. Ventilation also is also provided by this ridge for ventilation. It also has a sloping roof so that rainwater can flow easily away from the poultry house. We also have the foot dip just next to the door there. The foot dip is a foot bath which contains a disinfectant which is kills off parasites of the people's shoes before they get into the poultry house. When keeping animals, you also need to provide food and water. As you can see, the gods are feeding them in a trough. Then we also have chickens. The food for chickens is given in two types of feeders. We have got what we call the flat chicken feeder. This is usually for the newly hatched chicks. The flat feeder is for the newly held hatched chicks. And the tubular chicken feeder is for grown up chicks. I want you to take note of the difference between a drinker and a feeder here. As you can see, there are no divisions in the drinker here, and the feeder has got some divisions, meaning each chick will be feeding on its own part. Then we move on to castration. Castration it is, is the removal of the male 
animal testicles, or crushing of the blood vessels which supply the testicles. Castration is done so that we improve the breed quality. It also controls breeding and it also makes bad tempered animals docile. The tools which are used for castration, we have this one on the pig called a badizo. We also have a rubber band illustrator. We can also use a knife for castration. The next management practice is identification. Animals need to be identified so that we know who they belong to. Identification is done in different ways. First, we have ear tagging. As you can see, ear tags in form of plastics or metals are fixed onto the animal's ear and usually there are numbers which will be written on them. The tool used for ear tagging is the ear tag applicator. Then we move on to ear notching. Ear notching is another form of identification. In this case, the animal ear is cut in a certain shape. And the tool used to ear notch is an ear notch pliers. We have another form of identification known as branding. As you can see, branding leaves a mark on the animal skin. The tool used for branding is a branding iron. Animals are usually born without horns. So another management practice which is done to them so that the horns do not grow is called disbody. In case the, the, the horns have already grown, the warning is done. As you can see on the picture, this is a dehorner. The animal's horn is being cut out. Dehorning helps to make the animals less violent and it also provides more space it could be in the crash or in the truck when transporting the animals. We also have what we call docking. This management practice is usually done in ships where pan, when part of the ship's tail is cut off to reduce collection of feces and hiding of parasites under the tail. As you can see, the tool used for docking there is a pliers. From these management practices I've mentioned, I have left some of them. I hope you already know them. These are vaccination, hoof trimming, and deworming. So, find out about them. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you.